Hey guys, Alex and I are back with another candy trying video and this one is another first. Yeah, we're back in Europe and we've got Norwegian candy. Yeah, super exciting because now we've ticked off Sweden, Finland, Russia, and now we've got Norway. And Belarus. Oh, and Belarus. And Poland. And Poland. Yeah. But um, so I've done Italy and Spain. Italy and Spain. I was Ooh, more meaning because we're filling Norway. out our European. We are. Map. We're like ticking them off just because you know in our Finland candy yeah. we were saying these are You've all. You've done the, the Scandinavian. Yeah, countries. all of the countries that are surrounded each other. Mm. We just hadn't done Norway, yeah. and now we are here, and we have another Jenny. Yeah, and this time it's Jenny from the block. Jenny with a Y. Jenny from with the Y. And uh, she has given us a plastic wallet with some sheets of paper with some info on. Shall we get reading? Do you want to start? Yeah. Hey, I can read this one because yeah. it's typed out. I <laughs> actually really like the font. I was just about to say that. It's so lovely. Because the Scandinavian countries are known for their design, whereas I feel like oh, yeah, in England, are. if someone sent us a letter, <laughs> don't it'd get offended, in, um, it'd just be in Comic Sans. Or, or Aerial it, Round, no, Aerial. Yeah, yeah, or Times Roman. Yeah. They won't bother changing it, whereas this looks like a nice font. Yeah. Let us know what you've used. It says, hey, Alex and Kate, Alex Ooh, first Alex again, first. because big deal. My name is Jenny, and I really enjoy watching your videos with both funny challenges tasty recipes and exploring the food culture of other countries. Oh, She's really so encapsulated She's re the yeah. channel. You need to like write our bio, don't yeah, you? Yeah, because we could do with the new one. Trying foreign food is a popular theme of yours, but you have yet to try Norwegian candy or gotia, as we call it. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Gotia. Got Therefore, I decided to send you a piece of Norway. This box is filled with both traditional snacks and my own favourites. What will be your favourite? Ooh. Ooh. Do you reckon I don't that know. Jap? Do you reckon that Jap king size is like that other one we well, had? Well, that's what I literally was thinking. Is it the same? But it's not. It's called something else. And it also. Let's see what brand it is. Didn't we have something called Plot? It looks very similar, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. So let's go in the order she does. Maybe it's so cool. She's sorted images that's of so everything, cool. and then she's written it out. This is amazing. Do you know what? There's a drink here and I kind of just want to start with that. Yeah, Do you mind? Shall we? So this is Solo. Solo. Solo was established way back in 1934 and has been a permanent companion through many Norwegian childhood. Easter is the season of skiing. Mm. Mm. It looks really good. So it's orange. I'm wondering if this is going to taste like, like Fanta, but a it, bit more au natural. Yeah. So I'm wondering if this is going to taste like Fanta or more Orangina. You Are we know. going from the same, drinking from the bottle? Yeah. We're drinking from the bottle. Smells good. Got a good nose on it. And do you want to start savory or start in like her order? It's really nice. So good. Oh almost wow. Almost like not like orange. It's like tangerine almost. It's like slightly sweeter. Mm. That's really good, isn't That's it? That's really nice. I think we should still start sweet. Savory. Savory. <laughs> now, are you ready to see one of the biggest bag of crisps ever? Yeah. So this Kim's. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is bigger than your head. No, I've seen a bag like this in America and I was blown away by how huge it was. This is like party size, isn't we it? We don't get stuff this big in England, do we? Not crisps, no. This juice drink is delicious. I love the branding on this. Mm. The way it's so simple, like the whole bag is just blue and then you've got these photos the of the crisps on with the drop shadows and and the writing in between. It's mm. so cool. Ooh, I'm not sure I can eat another crisp. How many's in there? Three. So is oh, this good just amount, salt actually. and pepper? Salt and pepper, Kim's. Mm. I'm sorry if I butcher any of these Norwegian words. Well, you we can't get Kim's wrong. No. Mmm. Oh, be really good. I can eat more crisps. Mm. That's the thing, sometimes if you're full and you have something you like, it's nice. Mm. Mm. Well, it's quite often you get salt and vinegar, just sea salt. When actually it's salt and pepper, it's mm. really good, isn't it? You can really taste the pepper, but it's not overpowering. Mm. I might Let's have some get more the of this, other actually. crisps out and then I'll say what I'm giving that. Oh, look what there is, ballerina. What? Yeah, she's Didn't mentioned that? that we've had them before, but this is a different flavour. So we've got two more, Marud tortilla cheese and Sawlands chips, and look, creme fraiche. That's so cool. I've never had a bag of crisps that have creme fraiche. That's going to be a very light flavour, I'd imagine. Oh, hold on. So to Kim, she's put, these are best served with holiday dip mix. Look, just what? add it into three DLs of sour cream. Oh, sadly, we don't have any sour cream. <laughs> oh, no. But have we managed that? We're gonna we're gonna try this maybe another time. Yeah. This looks so oh, exciting. Like, if only we knew that. Those tortilla Cheesy. chips, this is the most sold chips in Norway. 
Really? I'd not think a tortilla would be. Yeah. I wouldn't expect a tortilla chip to be the most sold in, oh. in mm. like a Scandinavian company, country. Really nice. Mm. They got pepper on them. No, just cheese. They're really nice. Really good. And then our last chip is here. Do you want to read that? These chips with the taste of Prime Fresh is probably my favourite chips of all time. all time. I really like this bag. It seems um, posh. Ooh, lots in here. These chips go really great. These with are this. kind of like um, more kettle y. Mm. Like our kettle chips. Oh, wow. Mm. Amazing flavour. Very good flavour. I don't think um, I've had anything quite that great. No. They're kind of in the same family as sour cream and chai. Mm. Mm. I'll say these first, and maybe the Kims. Then Kims, and then the, and uh, then the tortilla, tortilla chips. I like do like tortilla chips, but like they wouldn't be my go-to. No. I'd pick any type of normal crisp mm -hmm. first potato chip because these these aren't made of potato. These are made yeah. of corn. Look, sweet corn. It gets flattened out, and then they cut the triangles out of it, oh, and they know. get cooked. So I always prefer potato over like corn snacks, personally. Yeah, me but too. I get why. I would still enjoy those, especially with some dip. Mm. Do you want to pick something? Well, Should let's do we smash. smash. Smash? Yeah, smash. Oh, smash. Should we do like the biscuity things then? Yeah. Does that say salt and sweet, maybe? Maybe. These are oops. Aren't these like bugles? These are like chocolate-covered ah, bugles. Smash is salted corn kernels covered by Nidar's milk chocolate. Nidar described it as this distinctive combination of sweet, salty, and airy brittle is, as far as we know, the only one of its kind in the world. Hmm. They look like bugles. They do look like bugles. Don't you, you want to go have, first? Um, oh, they are completely covered. What did we have recently that was, it was like, pre was it the pretzels covered in chocolate? Yeah. Which are like really salt. Mm -hmm. This is what I can only imagine the Capri's with crisps in is like mm. from Australia. And that is so good. Mm. So salty and yet covered in chocolate. Wow. In some ways, I love pretzels with chocolate. But that is up there, isn't it, with that? That oh, is amazing. Let us know, because um, Jenny thinks it's as the, the only kind in the world. So let us know if um, mm. you have any bugles covered in America, uh, covered in chocolate. Covered in America. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at that Jap. I swear Jap. we've had a Jap. I know, but was that not... Um, not from Sweden. Is this of milk chocolate? Filled with delicious cocoa, meringue, and soft caramel. Meringue. Looks a bit like away. a Mars bar. Looks a bit like the oh. king size we had in the last. In the Finland. In the Finland. That candy. Jap writing is just like Mars, Mars. bar. Yeah. Do you want to take the first bite? No, you go for it. It looks like a Mars bar on the outside. Maybe it's nougat. See, is it what they call meringue. meringue. But I want, yeah. This is a Mars bar. That's Norway's version of a Mars bar. That's a Mars bar. That's really nice. That Jap is a 9 out of 10. Mm. Yeah, I like Japs. Mm -hmm. Are you giving those um, bugles a 10 out of 10? The bugles are a 10, yeah. See, the Jap's probably a 9 after the bugles. I do like pretzel and bugles covered in chocolate, but I don't think I would give them a 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. I think they're the best thing since sliced bread really? was invented. Now, I really want to try these because... What are they? I think teddy these bear friends. foam teddy bears covered in <laughs> chocolate. Is that like foam bananas? Well, I don't know because I had something That's like this phone, in um, when I was in Paris. Really? And it was like marshmallow teddy bears. So is I'm this wondering what you if and it's... Matt were nibbling on while you were in? While we were waiting for that breakfast that time. This is also Uts certified. These is oots, really? Oots, 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 oots. This is literally what we had before eating at oh, a brunch restaurant. What, you had this before brunch? It was later, yeah. You were waiting for your table. But had you eaten food. anything yet? Mm, I think we had a snack. I can eat something like that before breakfast. Really? Mm. I can. They're really good. They're really nice. And this is Nina, N Nida again. Chocolate. I don't like the chocolate as much on there I as don't on mind the pretzels. It, you know. Oh, including mums. Mum. Is that what that means? What does that mean? That one looks like the baby and one looks like the mum. Really? <laughs> I don't know. I could be totally I think you wrong. might have just made that, made that up. But I like that, so let's go with that. Yeah. Ooh, should we try this? <coughs> Do you want to try and pronounce that? Kivik? Kivik. Lundsjik. Read that. It's more than a chocolate. It's part of the Norwegian people's soul. We have been eating it since 1937 and never go hiking without it. When the Winter Olympics were held in Oslo in 1952, 
10 million Kvik lungs were sold. And no, it's not a Kit Kat. You'd never go hiking without it. Yeah. Is it like a healthy thing? No, I think it's a Kit Kat. Yeah, the way she it. said it's not a Kit Kat, I think it's a Kit Kat. It feels like <laughs> one, yeah. That looks awesome. I love the branding of it. Though. That branding is amazing, the three colours. And I love the way she says it's more than a chocolate. Yeah. It's our soul. It's epic, the branding on this. I and I can't believe and 10 million of them were sold in 1952 for the Winter Olympics. That's crazy. So either these were advertised at the Olympics, like... Probably, on the banners Have a things. snack, have a... Kvitska Lundsk. They've got like cool, a, a bird on there. Just, it's not a Kit Kat, okay? It's not a Kit Kat. Oh, it's not a Kit Kat. <laughs> <laughs> it does taste different from a Kit Kat, mm. but it basically is a Kit Kat. It's a cousin. It's a Kit Kat's cousin. It tastes so different because the wafer's different and the chocolate's different. Yeah, but to explain to people, it's got those wafer mm. layers in a finger form. Mm. It's a Kit Kat. And that's that Freya chocolate Freer, again. Yeah. That's really good. I, I can understand why lots of people like that. My question is, and I'll do a little poll here, would you ever eat one of these or a Kit Kat like this? No. Get out. Some, if you do, get out. There was this whole OCD thing mm. saying, like, would you actually be able to bite a Kit Kat that way? No. But someone took this photo of someone who looked like Justin Bieber eating a burrito from the middle. Oh, and yeah. And they made it go viral. And it wasn't and actually, it wasn't Justin, actually Bieber. Justin Bieber. Yeah, yeah. Does I saw that. Like... Okay, so have we tried this yet? No. No. Ooh, that looks interesting. So it is... Top Reese. Uh, Topris consists of milk chocolate filled with crispy red rice. Kubi. With a delicious toffle, toffee kernel. And this is Freya again. I wonder if that's your biggest brand. I reckon like so. chocolate there. Was it Freya in Finland? No, it was Free something else, but oh, yeah. same. You go first. Wasn't that end up like Fabia or something? Fa Fatia. Fa well, that's interesting. So it's got a middle bit, it's got a bit rounded, then it's got Rice Krispies, and then it's got more chocolate. It's got like a solid chocolate in the middle. It's like a parcel, like past the parcel. Mmm. This is great. That is so good. It's so nice because there's so many different textures. Mmm. And I like think... Crunch and chew. I'm mm. so glad there's a chew in the middle. Mm. I think sometimes when there's not a chew, it's like something's missing. Mm. Mm, that's really nice. And they even have like a dark bit of chocolate in there, but I like it. I think it's all just great. It's 10. Yeah. Really? For me, I'll good. give that a 10. Actually, I'll give this a nine. I said this was a nine and these are a 10. And actually these teddy bear things are probably nine, nine and a half for me. Really? Mm. I'm surprised you did that. I really that. enjoyed that. I really enjoyed this. So I'm probably going to give this about nine. This, I'm probably only going to give oh, like this a is seven a or eight. Oh, this is a international yeah. again. I'm not the biggest wafer fan, am I? Like you no. would eat a Kit Kat, whereas I wouldn't. Ooh, can we try this next? Yeah. This looks awesome and I hope it tastes <coughs> oh, I as good as it that. looks. So this is free year again. Smile is a delicious roll of chunks of free uh, milk chocolate with a core of soft toffee as created to be shared. I'm sure we can share it. Yeah. It Do you reckon these really are like Rolos? I think it'll be kind of like Rolos, but I reckon the texture in the middle will be different. Possibly. It's a really long... It looks long, like a um, Rolo. Yeah. I'm surprised she didn't Although say, but larger. not Rolo. These I think these are a bit bigger, bigger, yeah. yeah. Oh, half, bite in half. Oh, I heard. Like runny, Very soft. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Mm. That is delicious. That's really big, isn't it? Mm. Looks like a 10. Or I think you get more in there than you get in Rolos. Mm. Yeah, that's a 10. That's definitely a 10. Should we do those Laban Sungman? They look awesome. Siegman. Norway's most popular jelly man. Feel that. <laughs> oh, he feels soft. Oh, it feels lovely. And this is Nida as well. These are like bonbons in the UK. You're like bom bom bom. Let me hear you say the way. Or... Did it say Norway's favourite jelly man? Yeah. I feel sad now because we don't have a favourite jelly man. No. He's our favourite jelly man. Oh, they smell good. Ooh, oh, so we've got so pineapple, <coughs> orange, apple, raspberry, and lemon. There's literally oh, not my one word, I don't the bite on that. Really. It's like not one I don't like in here. Oh my word, he feels... So squidgy. Give him a little rub, he feels so nice. Look at his little legs, they're so sweet. 
No wonder. Oh, you see this place. No wonder these are. Um... I was gonna say. I wonder how far you can stretch them. <laughs> uh, it's like almost like jam, isn't it? Yeah. Orange one is delicious. That's amazing. I wonder what this bonbon is gonna be like. I think it's got something in the middle. Did it say something? These are a ten, you know. They're a ten. There is a surprising number of sweets I actually really enjoy. Did you read this? No. Something vespa bowl strawberries in a candy with a sting in it. What's that Does that mean? mean it's like sour? Maybe it's like sour. I love how she said sting in it. Oh, don't try to bite it. It's sour. Oh my god. Mm. Got on a bit of an explosion going on. That has so much like candy. <laughs> Mm, it is sour though. Yeah, it's sour. It comes out of nowhere. Mmm. Mmm. Well, That's a really nice flavour mm. to it. I like that. Oh, so much good stuff in. That would be Norway. like a um a good car sucker. Mmm. We got four things left. We got two chocolate biscuits. bars and two biscuits. Oh, chocolate bars. Uh-huh. Oh, Do you want to yeah. go chocolate or biscuit first? Biscuit, I reckon. The biscuit boys. So she says, I saw you tried the ballerina with nougat from a Swedish candy box. But we also have our own version. These biscuits okay. called Blobalike. 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 Very good. Means blueberry happiness are amazing. Best eaten when slowly separating the two cookies. Mm. Enjoy. So these are jammy dodgers, but blueberry. Mm -hmm. These are blueberry happiness. I'll be the uh, judge of that. We don't get many blueberry biscuits here, do we, no. really? Well, that's what we thought was interesting with the Polish Jaffa cakes that were like blueberry. Yeah, and these biscuits are Jendi. These cookies were launched in 1954 and are almost a national treasure. Ooh, look at that. Wow. I'm going to do what she says. Savor yours. Best eating when slowly separating the two cookies. Looks like a flower. No, I like, with this kind of thing, I like going in half. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow, it's like a tornado in the middle. Yeah, I might just try it all together. Mmm. Okay. It's nice, it's not overly sweet, is it? Oh, it's stuck in my teeth. Yeah, that's what I got. Maybe that's what I got. Mmm. Look at that one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's not overly sweet at all. Mmm. It's nice, because sometimes biscuits can be way too sweet. Mm. It's crazy Especially how chewy ones. that is in the middle, but it's really nice. Mm. That's a nice blueberry flavour, that. Mm, lovely. And these ones are chocolate from my German knowledge, I can tell myself. Actually, Ooh, from my these... English knowledge, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> these almost seem like digesters from yeah. the bottom, don't they? Oh, wow, that chocolate's like really soft. So soft, yeah. It's like a deer it's on like it. It's like it's melted. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes like something. Mmm. Like biscuit. another foreign biscuit we've mm. had. Sometimes um, there are biscuits that very all stand out the same in like the same sort of taste. Mm. You get what I mean? Like it's yeah. got that like foreign flavour. Mm. It's almost like a um. It's almost like a malt biscuit, isn't it? Yeah. It tastes like. I was going to say we've milk. got that as well. No, you know what they taste like? What? Animal biscuits. I do, yeah. That's what it is. Animal and biscuits. they also remind me of the unicorn ones we tried. Ooh, from Germany. Uh -huh. Yeah, the real like baked ones. And then to finish us off in this box, we have two chocolate bars, and not just normal bars. Look how big these are. Oh my word. Oh, that's a whole chocolate bar. That's a whole, what did you think? I thought they were like little bars. No, this is a whole chocolate bar. Oh my word. Now it's 150 grams, so I suppose it's no bigger than ours, yeah. but yours is thinner and longer. Long. So this one, Stratos, was launched in 1936 and is a bubbly chocolate that melts on the tongue. I surely cannot choose between Stratos and simply Freya milk chocolate. And that's Nida again. Nida. Uh, and this is Freya, if that's Freya, how you say it. A true classic from 1920s. What do you think, Freya, oh no, Freya or Nida? And this is milk chocolate, if that's how you say uh, it. Oh, maybe. A lit yeah, she says milk chocolate. Nord. And then she says, hope you enjoy with a love heart, Jenny. I was going to really say, nice she's printed it out so we couldn't see until now, but her handwriting it's is lovely. beautiful. It's lovely, yeah. I love the way on the hope, like one side is longer than yeah. the other. And then the, um, the her way her, J like, and her Y. Yeah. Shall we do the milk? milk yes, just? and then maybe bubbles. That looks like aero, doesn't it? Yeah, I kind of think this could all change depending on what we try first. Do you mm. not think sometimes what one you try first changes your opinion? Mm. Nice solid bite. <laughs> mm. And some chocolate. Oh, that really coats your mouth. Mm -hmm. 
really gets all up in there. That with a cup of tea would be amazing. Mm. Oh yeah. Oof. Look at that. They like hard, right? They're like three bubbles. bubbles. Mm. It is very like aero, isn't it? Mm. I kind of think, think I prefer that. I think I prefer this. Mm. I'm saying about the air and airiness mm. of it. I really like this, the uh, free freer, uh, because it really covers your mouth. But there's something about the lightness of that I prefer. Although there was one candy box where we got aero in white chocolate and milk chocolate. Remember, I was so excited. Yeah. But actually, didn't like it. But this aero is so, so nice. Good, yeah. Sometimes when you add the bubbles, you lose flavour. Yeah. But this you don't. You don't, no. That cow looks like the laughing cow from Dairy Lee. Mm. It's got mad cow disease. <laughs> we finished. I love... That was so good. These European ones where you don't expect... I don't know why I don't expect, but like the German one. I didn't expect there yeah. to be loads of really good stuff. I've been blown away by so many of the European chocolates mm. and snacks and... It's delicious, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so good. And they do taste much more natural, don't mm. they? Well, I think not necessarily that just they're natural, it's more similar to our taste. But um, wow, that was amazing. So Did good. you enjoy that? I enjoyed it. Did you? I really enjoyed that. And thank you so much, Jenny, for watching our videos, seeing that we've never tried Norwegian candy and sending us a box. That was very thoughtful of you and it was absolutely really delicious, it. wasn't it? Mm. Of course, we're going to be sending Jenny a box of British candy. If any of you would like to try some of our British candy, I'll leave a link listed down below. We hope you enjoyed watching that, guys, and we'll see you very soon. Bye. See ya.